The name Exidy needs no introduction to anyone in the modified performance car scene. As a supplier of OEM clutches and transmission parts for major manufacturers, Exidy has the technology, testing facilities and trusted quality to produce some of the best performance clutches on the market. And there is no better proving ground than motorsports. And Exidy is a big supporter of rallying, time attack, drag racing and drifting around the globe. The Exidy Racing Clutch range offers something for every type of motorsport and every level of modification. From lightly tuned daily driver to a thousand horsepower drag car. The first in the Racing Clutch range is the Stage 1 and Stage 2. They both use an OEM style pressure plate with increased clamping force combined with a full face performance organic clutch plate or three puck ceramitallic clutch plate. Normally for the Stage 1 I like to use it for a mildly upgraded street vehicle. Somebody that's looking for a very smooth engagement, but they need an increase in torque holding capacity over the OEM. The Stage 2, basically it's going to be a little bit more aggressive than the Stage 1, but it, it's still going to offer smooth drivability, uh, but when you need it to clamp down and go, it's going to be able to do that. The Stage 1 and Stage 2 kits were designed to work with the OEM flywheel, but if you're looking for a little bit more performance out of your install, we also offer a, a lightweight forged chromoly flywheel. And, and this is a direct replacement to the OEM, and in fact you could use it with the OEM clutch if needed, but we're, we're really designed for the performance applications. The next step is into the Hyper range of racing clutches, starting with the Hyper Single. So what we have is the, the Hyper Single, which uses a, a forged aluminum cover assembly versus a stamped steel, so it reduces the weight of the, the pressure plate by about 50%. Uh, we, we use a six puck disc uh, sprung hub center, but it's also a thinner disc, so it, it has slightly less inertia than the, the stage one, stage two disc. And then it uses the same type of one piece forged chromoly flywheel. The Hyper Single can handle roughly the same amount of power as the stage one, stage two, depending on application. The, the big advantage of the Hyper Single is the weight. The total weight of a Hyper Single unit with flywheel is going to be roughly 25 to 35 percent lighter than a stage one stage two kit with a, a one-piece forged chromoly flywheel. The Hyper Multi is next and comes in twin disc, triple disc with both sprung and unsprung configurations. The main reason why you'd want to switch from a Hyper Single to a Hyper Multi plate is you want to increase the torque holding capacity without sacrificing drivability. The twin plate is still going to have sprung hub center uh, so it's going to absorb those harmonic noises and, and dampen the, the drivetrain harmonics as well as allow for smooth engagement off the, off the line as well as it's not going to incorporate any, any more clamp load than the Hyper Single is uh, and the main reason why you're getting the increase in torque holding capacity is due to the fact that you're doubling the friction surface area over the Hyper Single. The sprung hub we'd use mainly for a, a high horsepower streetcar you know, one that's making in the excess of 500 wheel horsepower. For someone who wants very high power street car with still maintaining good drivability, the twin plate is perfect. Uh, someone who wants to go a little bit beyond that and make upwards of a thousand horsepower, get into the triple plate solid hub. But the, the big disadvantage of that is you go to a solid hub center, so it's not going to be able to absorb those harmonic noises that are given off by the drivetrain as well as it's going to be a little bit harsher engagement right off the start. The flagship in the range is the Hyper Carbon Series. Available in single, twin or triple disc configuration, this lightweight carbon on steel clutch is the ultimate in performance. The main reason why you'd want to switch over to a carbon unit would be to strictly reduce your mass of, of your total clutch. Uh, the carbon material is 90% lighter than a ceramic disc, so it's going to allow for much quicker upshifting and downshifting. A uh, big misconception of the carbon clutch versus ceramic is they're going to be able to increase power holding capacity by going to a carbon. When the truth of the matter is, when a carbon disc is hot and a ceramic disc is at its normal state, uh, the friction coefficient is roughly the same. The downfall to a, a carbon clutch is that when the carbon is cold, the friction coefficient is very low compared to a ceramic so it's a very inconsistent clutch for a street-type car. But for an all-out race team that's looking for the best of everything and lightweight, good torque holding capacity and good drivability, carbon clutch is 
you know, by far superior over a Sarah Metallic. To choose the right Exidy racing clutch for you and check your vehicle listing, head to the website. There is also comprehensive technical information and installation instructions. Mm-hmm.